Hello Vinyl Community and welcome to my second video. First of all, thanks to everyone who subscribed and saw, uh, saw my video, commented and liked. Thanks a million. I really appreciate it. Um, today, I thought just to keep the flow on, I don't want to make too big, uh, long breaks between videos. I, I received a parcel this morning, so might as well uh, show you what did I get. I know what I got, because I haven't been ordering that many records lately, but uh, you don't know what is there. So I will show it to you, and I will speed this part up. See, um, just FYI, this is from a local uh, online shop. They have a shop as well, it's just in another uh, town than where I am. I really like this place, I will put a link to the shop. They also ship abroad, they pack very well their, uh, their boxes, <laughs> their records. And this is the first, okay, so I got this. I did not find this uh, in this. Beg your pardon? That is our cat again. His name is Slayer. For obvious reasons. Slayer. Minute, boys. Minute, boys. Not now. Anyways, sorry for the interruption. Anyways, so I did not find this. Because it's on white, it is on white vinyl. Uh, I didn't Slayer, but uh, yeah, I, I just recently heard this album on uh, YouTube while I was working. I put this on and uh, I really liked it, so I got to got it. Uh, I had to have it. <clears throat> um, sorry. Okay. Huh. Oh, download card, I believe. Mm -hmm. oh, looks nice. Nothing special. White final. Huh. All right, and this, the second one, is the prong, music on vinyl. This is, I just heard, or heard, I read that they are putting out another colored variant of this, I think this year. And, uh, oh, this is number 49. I don't know if it's, you can see that. Low number, if that really matters. Uh, it's bush heads. Yes, I, I could think, I wasn't sure, I never had this. Uh, I know that Bush Head has done a cover for them, uh, for the Back to Differ album. I didn't know he's actually, <laughs> you could almost tell from the, actually I picked up from the handwriting or the graphics, as it said here, graphics, sculpture, Bush Head and Scott Schroeder. That's also a familiar name, sorry if I'm butchering any names. And then, unfortunately, shop had put this price sticker on top of this and it doesn't come off as you can see i have tried to remove it but no no dice yeah so music on vinyl prong prove you wrong limited color and numbered edition okay let's have a quick look see at least these are the three sealable ones maybe i'll just throw that this should be purple mm -hmm. yeah Lyric insert, obviously, that's a nice one, yeah, and the purple one, oh, it's like a purple marble, yeah, yeah, uh, is there something, is there a speck of dust or is it uh, a surface mark, it looks like a little bit of a Scratch doodly, huh? Well, we're gonna give a quick test and see if that has any effect on the 
listening experience. Anyway, uh, this is from the 2013 uh, release, what they did. I don't know, I have read some things that music on vinyl early, early releases weren't up to bar, bar what they are nowadays. Um, I don't know, I bought this I know, a bit of an experimental, uh, as an experiment. Uh, I'm so far in no musical vinyl has really disappointed me, I have to say. None of them. Um, okay. Good stiffeners, all that stuff. Good. Um, just a quick word still on the Miles Davis um, before I call it a wrap. Um, I've never. Thank you, Slayer. We all know you want to get. You want to go inside that room where you are not allowed to go. <laughs> you have to see this. Slayer? Anyway, never been a big jazz fan. Now, don't crucify me yet. Um, I, I do love my jazz. And uh, it's just that in the last five years or so, I've only started to get into it. I don't own many jazz records. I hope to expand on my uh, jazz collection. I have a few records and now one more. And um, yeah, I'm loving it. So. That being said, you're really trying my nerves, pal. <clears throat> Say hi. Bye. Yeah!